and a wonderful day at Harare Sports Club and Muhammad Huraira. And with him is Hasibullah Khan. That average 48.7. And then Victor Nyawuchi with a new ball from. And that looks. Oh, that's been dropped. And it's blessing Mzarabani. Best of five for 21. 20. Milton Shumba comes into the 11, and so does. Brad Evans, oh, that's a good shot. Stroking. And that's off the bottom edge and that runs away to the boundary. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Didn't quite find the middle of the bat. But uh, he shows us the maker of his cricket bat. Kept a nice, solid shape. Oh, leading edge. Just past that second slip. We'll go down to the boundary, but won't give anything to the batter as confidence. Just living a bit. Slightly short, pulled away on the bigger side of the ground. We'll go for a boundary. That's a, a rare delivery. Ball in! Bless him, Zarabani. Brilliant delivery. Pitched up. Angling right to the top of off stump. And it cannons onto the stumps. Good. When it moves in, it finishes off right where he wanted it to be. Mohamed Urara has to depart. 17 off 28. Pakistan. Smashed away. It's not a half volley. He's hit it on the up. But there was a bit of width. overpitched he's deliberately opened the face so it gets to the left of that field at extra cover nicely played and fan code in India outside edge it's gone wide of the fielder at second slip and another boundary I said outside edge I think maybe this is yeah Two full, two straight. And he's just closed the face on impact as Omar bin Yosef. That is a good shot. Big chase by Masakadza, the captain. Hopefully he hasn't done him. Come Short ball. He's looked to go on the pull as Hasibula. High up on the bat. And a relatively simple catch for Joy Lord Gumbi at mid-wicket. The Pakistan Shaheenza falls. Hasibullah Khan falls for 22 of 32 deliveries. Pakistan Shaheenza, 54 foot. Hails from Balochistan in Pakistan. Whenever he gets an opportunity in national colours. Oh, that's gone too much. It's gone too much. In my opinion, the umpire says not. Okay. He's got it to swing. 66 matches, best of 123. Was not up. Slightly short and put away nice and easy. Here you can't really experiment with. down the leg side and that will go to the boundary you just mentioned about that I totally agree with you Victor now she has has been very 60 mark that that we were speaking about earlier Miller you're gonna expect the runs white ball called miss and a mistake from Madandi and another misfield in the deep not the best field and as again a rare bad ball half striker had to be put away it's a bit wavered over this time around like from it, ryan bird first a wide and three runs that. and now that bounce he really does like exploiting extra cover in the air oh that's short that is a bad delivery didn't even try and force it away he knew there's nobody like behind square on the leg side easy boundary 
Keep going here, right? No. Just had to get a little elevation, make sure he evaded the series so far. And had a couple of starts. That's a slash over backward point. A little bit of work out there for it you know, looks like Milton Shumba, who's just gotten that big size 10 boot down in time. 28 in his four. That's short. Acres of space. A deep mid wicket. Couple of bounces into the boundary. This is such brilliant. Oh, that's an inside edge, I think. And it's going to run away to the boundary. It's been called, given a bye by the umpire. Shot. Brilliant shot. From Omir. Is on 49, on strike. Short delivery is in the air, but that should just sail over. A maximum to get to a half a century. Omer been used of choosing the shorter side. It was there to be hit as the length. Need to try and make sure that everybody gets a ball. Shot to catch it. If Blessing Mazarabani cannot get it, then no one else will. Tallest man on the park. Just eludes him to his diving right. And Brad Evans uh, starts off with a new spell from the commentary box end and hits away for a boundary. A little too full. Um, haven't we seen that time and again? You miss your length and you will be put away on this wicket. That's a good surface. Taken that. Don't know how it's popped out. Brilliant use once again of the short ball from Brad Evans. Joel Gumbi, the man of the delivery. One would have thought. It what a shot. What a shot. Almost took uh, Evans' ankle away. That has raced to the boundary, and there, what I was saying, one boundary or the other in every over. One Maybe apply more pressure to the batsman. And this time he's gone straight and finds a boundary. One bounce yeah. into the fence. Before Kamaran Gulam. I know, Shadza. This is a really well played shim. Brilliant piece of batting. And this time he's gone. He's not quite found the middle. And it's going to take some catching. And it's Tadiwa Nashe. No, that is Tadiwa Nashe Marumani. Manages to hold on to that one. And it's a good catch because he's had to come a long way from the on, long on boundary. And uh, Kamran Gulam has to depart. 55. Just entered the last 10 overs of this match. And that is Langton Rusere who's uh, umpiring from the city end, and he signaled. That's a slow ball, and Wesley Madavere cannot cut that on off, and he's absolutely de delighted, is Omer Ben Yusuf, as he scores the first 100 of this one expert series cup, powered by Malbet. And uh, he's been absolutely brilliant. One, six, and nine boundaries. Strike rate of 97. Ah. That should find its way to the boundary. Ah. Oh, that looks good. And out. It was full, it was quick, it was... And Shaheen's are now 220 for five. Had a good partnership, the other... Wow! ...matches of the series. In the air, now opportunity, and this time it's taken. Straight down the... Th ...takes that. That's a good wicket at this point of the game. No score for Mubassir. Pakistan. Kasim Akram's list here, career. 100. Oh, he's uh, played that uppishly, but it'll be safe. It was very wide and full outside the off stop. Oh, he pulls that one. It's high and it's safe. One bounce. He just 
don't get that real feel probably on television, but the way Omer and Kasim, both of them. Have... Oh, what a shot through the line. Will it be caught? Oh, no, it's gone through. That's the third one in the over, and this is a maximum. Now he's forced that from Brad Evans. He's trying to make room, and Evans tried it following him. So quick on his feet. Opens the face. And it will run away for four as well. It looked like Milton Schumba might be able to cut that off. He doesn't manage to. This time he gets a more bat onto it. One bounce, boundary. And that's rubbing salt in wounds when you miss an opportunity of an out and then you hit for a four. Wow. Are we watching a T20 here? So quick on his legs. Just plays that to perfection as if he knew what was coming at him. Again, it's the shimmy. He picks the ball up so well, it, which is the equal to the previous highest in the series. And that's a sign of a batter who exactly is informing everyone watching that he's here to stay because he's... Full toss. Chance. Chance. Taken. Good catch in the deep. Third one for Brad Evans. He did well to judge that. Earlier he was rushing at the ball and then he realized that it's going to come to him. He's got to stand ground. Eventually one sticks for him today. Kasim Akram goes for 16. 2, 8, 3 for 7. Amr Jamal first up. Will he be caught? It will take some catching. That's very well done. Running backwards. Craig Irvin. Make sure that it's not messed up. Some good catching that we're watching now. And Sahin's loop. Amir Jamal goes for none. 2 8 3 for 8 now. <laughs> he enjoys just blocking the ball, as partner is saying. Oh, good slow one. That's a fifer for Brad Evans. And he gets rewarded for that hard work that he's been putting in. Some drop catches off his bowling, but he makes sure that he does it himself. And a knock to remember for Omer bin Yusuf. 153 of 125. What a player. That's a slow ball. He's controlled that extremely well. I haven't quite seen a slow ball that comes out like this from Brad Evans. But it's done the trick. Magnificent innings of 153 from Omar Yusuf. Pakistan Shaheens, 284 for nine. Full quarter of 50. And with the mindset that we've seen from Shana Wazdahani. Could be a long way away. That struck nicely. The mid off is up in the circle. And just a miss. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he going? <laughs> well, that's the end of the innings. Just a single of that last ball. And 295 is what Pakistan Shaheens manage for the loss of nine wickets after being asked to bat first. And I'll be happy with that. Also, 153 from Omer bin Yusuf. Really a find in this series. Brad Evans, the star of the innings for Zimbabwe's Gumbi. Will take strike. First up, 41 list day matches. Yet to get. He'll work on and want to improve. 47 matches for his 50s. And his pedigree, and it's Muhammad Ali. We see. Muhammad Ali, first up to Gumbi. No! No, no, no! Now, is that some ball on glove? It is. A good run chase. Shana was the honey. Runs straight away. A boundary for Marumani. This is going to give a few. Is that the outside edge? It could be. It could be. Yes, it is. He's flirted outside the line of the off stump. He is in his 201st match. That average. 
Nice. Very nice from Joy Lord Gumbi. Short ball pulled away. It's gone down to fine leg and it's gone over fine leg. Six runs for Craig Irvin to end the sixth. 24 for one. Has cashed out on the occasion when it was offered to him. Oh, nicely done. It has helped him to just move across a little bit and come inside the line of the ball and just flick it. That's good runs. That's timed well. Hit it in the gap and should go to the boundary for four. That's... Oh, that's cut away. That will go to the boundary. Sweeper on the offside. All he'll do is go and pick the ball. Yeah. Good shot. Oh, saved at the boundary. Good, good. Oh. Looks yeah, like yeah. it might. Slug sweep from Craig Irvin, and it's gone all the way for six. He's picked his delivery. It's the shorter boundary. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Down the ground. He's just chipped it into that open mid wicket space. We'll come back for two. Or will it go into the boundary? Looks. Swept. Swept quite strongly behind Square on the leg side. Fantastic shot this from Craig Irvin. This is lovely, lovely. Brilliant, brilliant this from uh, the national captain, Chris. That's a shot. That's a similar shot what he played to Hussein Talat just an hour ago. Straight as you like. And the kind of... Cut away nicely. He doesn't have that much pace and he's not happy with the back foot point. Feels he could have made a better of... That's a good shot. That should be a boundary. It's timing all over it. Jailo Gumbe. That's it. Captain of the national side, Greg Elvin, hits that single to a century of just 99 and keeps Zimbabwe select in the chase of 295. What Apesh and will clear the fielder. Ahmed Jamal at mid off. Well, Hussein. That's hit hard. That's the third boundary in the over. That's some class from. Driven nicely and beats Ahmed Jamal once again. Four boundaries in the over. Nicely put away by Joy Lord Gumbi and it goes away for four. Down the ground is uh, Craig Irvin. And I'll tell you what, he's made a healthy connection of that delivery. Deliveries though, but does it matter? Yep. Nicely played. They've been thinking of two. He's running hard. The first one and he does come back. Joy Lord Gumbi. This has been brilliant. Raise your bet as you like. Jordan Gumbi, he's been fantastic today. Started off a little slow, and there's jubilation around from the crowd and from the change room. You have deserved this. Take a bow. What a magnificent innings from Joy Lord Gumbi. Craig Irvin at the other end. Two full, that's through the extra cover area. And Craig Irvin will get another. Oh, Joy Lord Gumbi has gone across the line. It's not going to carry through to just one away from a famous chase. Top edge will go to the boundary and that will be that. With that boundary, 299 come on the board and a comprehensive win by Zimbabwe Select. They've beaten Pakistan Shaheens in this match by a big margin of seven wickets.
And what a match we've had. What a partnership we've seen in the chase from uh, Craig Urban and Joel Odgumbi, who uh, just completely...